I'm going to address the different forms of attack in this next short clip. Those forms of attack, we're looking at them from the set piece. Those three different forms of attack are either kicking, playing directly, or playing wide. And what's important to note from these different forms of attack is their success rate. If you run a kicking play off the set piece, you have a 10% chance of scoring. Playing more directly is a 70% chance. And if you play wide, it's only a 20% chance. The biggest thing that's changed in, changed in world rugby today is that teams are now adopting a far more direct approach in their form of attack from the set piece. My challenge to all of you is to watch a bit of uh, rugby if it's on TV or uh, is to have a look at what form of attack the team uses of each set piece. And I can tell you 80% of the time, you'll, be see, you'll notice teams are being very direct in their approach. What this is all about is getting gain line success. If you can get over the gain line, what you're then doing is you're stopping the cross cover defense and you're also taking the positions forwards out the game. So they now need to obviously run back to be able to get back on sides. And this is what we refer to as the 15 on seven principle. That 15 on seven principle, what that means is all of your 15 players, including your forwards are running forward onto the ball and the opposition's forwards are out the game. And those eight forwards are now off sides and they've got to run backwards. And this is why teams have adopted a far more direct approach in their style of attack in modern day rugby. And I hope that that's a good explanation for all of you guys.